Hi guys, welcome to Team Ryban. In today's video, I will teach you on how to install FTD or Firepower Threat Defense on VMware. Before we start, make sure you have the following in Windows Server ISO file and then the OVF file of FTD. This one. So let's get started. Open your VMware. So, I already installed my Windows Server 2022, so let's proceed to the FTD. Go to File, Open, then select the OV file of FTD, then Open. Accept the prompts, then for the name, just uh, type FTD, then birth small letter B then select the 4 core and it gigabyte RAM then next then import Then click anywhere, then press enter. While the system is booting, change the first network adapter of FTD to NAT and leave the others as they are. So double click the network adapter, then select NAT for the first adapt network adapter. Then select OK. So, wait until the boot is completed. So the boot is done for the default username uh, for the default username of the FTD is admin and then the password is admin123 capital A this one so admin admin123 then press enter press enter again or type yes
during the first setup, change the password as prompted. So I will change the password to Cisco123 at. Then, do you want to configure IP beeper? Yes. IPv6? No. DHCP or manually? Select manual. For the IPv4 management interface, IP address, so I will just type 192.168.108.45. For the net mask, just press enter to set the default. For the gateway of the management, 192.168.108.1. Then for the host name, just type FTD, press enter, none, Manage the device locally, type yes. Then to check if the configuration was applied, type show network. Show network. So it's already applied. Now go to your uh, main PC. Open CMD. Then try to ping the management IP address, which is the 192.168.108.45. Ping 192.168.108.45. So. It's being successfully. So now, open any type of browser. Then type HTTPS. Then the IP address of management. 192.168.108.45. So just click advance, then accept the risk and continue. For the username, admin, then for the password is cisco123 at, yeah. then login. Here we will need, uh, we will need to configure our ISP or internet. So just select manual input. Then type the IP address of your ISP. Uh, I just type five. Then for the net mask, then the gateway of your ISP. Then, then next. Then, if successful yung pag-setup natin ng ISP natin, magkakaroon to ng kulay green na color dito, like this one. So, successful yung ISP natin. Now, we will set up the NTP. So, we will select the Asia Manila. So, let's find this one. Asia Manila. Yeah. 
Asia Manila. Then select the default NTP servers. Then next. Then select the continue with evaluation period. Start 90 day evaluation period without registration. So select this one. Then the performance tier. Select the recommended. Then finish. So select this standalone device, then got it. Now let's change the IP address of our inside for our virtual Windows server. So to change that, go to device, then view all interfaces. So se select the edit, uh, change this one to like 10 then don't forget to change the DHCP server address pool change the target lock to 10 then click OK remember that every configuration made in FTD needs to be deployed to take effect so ensure that you deploy the changes so to deploy the changes you can see here in the deployment click that then deploy now so it says that deployment is in progress So there are no pending changes yet, so it's already deployed. Now, before opening your Windows Server 2022, make sure that the network adapter was set to bridge. Then power on virtual machine. So our network topology here, the main PC was the management and then the virtual PC was the uh, end devices or the inside. Slug into your Windows Server, virtual Windows Server, then no. Go to your uh, network adapter, Windows Plus R and CPA.CPL. Then go to IPv4. Yes. Uh, so we need to check we need to check na if na receive niya ba yung DHCP configuration natin na nagaling kay FTD so as you can see na receive naman niya ang IP na kuha niya is 192.168.10.47 so refresh lang natin yan ayan 47 now let's try to surf in the internet the great thing about the FTD is that 
it automatically configures that for you. So open browser. Let's open a browser. So try google.com. It's already have an internet so let's, let's try facebook.com so wait lang natin medyo mabagal siya pero ayan meron na siyang internet so now you have the virtual FTD Yan, medyo mabagal. Yan, 